Hello, this is Steve Connolly, and welcome to Real Estate 360 Show. And of course, with me is Mr. Jason Miles. How's everybody doing today? Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. If you're seeing this uh, uh, on uh, YouTube, um, today's show is all about the Sombrero. Mm, oh. <laughs> Oh, I thought you were going to say four-week action plan, but hey, <laughs> yes, I do have a sombrero on. Okay, call me El Investor in Sombrero, okay? I like that. It's a little long for the uh, signature line. Though. Yeah, it is a little <laughs> bit long. So, but, um, so the producers here suggested that I bring my energy up a, a lot, you know. So, they said, okay, the first show you did, you know, it's not going to be your best. Okay, thank you very much. We appreciate that. <laughs> So while I'm working on the energy level, I thought, okay, how about a visual representation of what's going on in here instead of, you know, while I'm getting the energy level up out there, okay? So I got to know what's going on in there. <laughs> you know, you know better than most anybody, you know, because I call you up every now and then and say, hey, why don't we do this? So, um, so anyway, um, here I am with a, a sombrero on. It's got a lot of jewel tone, uh, rhinestones in it and sequins and all kinds of stuff. And if you're just listening, of course, you can't see it. So right. uh, what should they do? You got to go and check us out on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, the, you know, Real Estate 360 show. You're going to love it. Obviously, it's going to be full of content, uh, actionable information, things you can do. And you can kind of giggle at Steve and I, you know, because uh, – we are the dynamic duo, and uh, I do like your uh, your costume. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to get rid of it, uh, you know, pretty soon because it looks, you know, fabulous, of course, you know, but uh, it's also very cumbersome. You know, you hit your head going through a door. It hurts, you know, uh, because this thing is stiff. It looks but, like uh, it. Yeah, it is. It's, really it, it's been around for a while. But we're not here to talk about hats today. We're here to talk about real estate investing that's right. right. That's right. And we want to get right at it. So, you know, we have spoken uh, in previous episodes about, you know, deals and how to find them and what to do and, and things of that nature. But the reality of it is you have to know how to get started. You know, it's great. You can hear all these great stories about, you know, this kind of deal and that kind of deal and the numbers that are associated with it. But how do you get started? You know, how do you, as I like to say, how do you find success in your first 30 days? It's not actually being, you know, from zero to 100 in 30 days, but it is about taking action and getting into the business, you know, getting into the flow of the business. Because if you're not there, you're not there. You're not doing anything. You have to take action. And we've put together something that allows people to take action. Exactly. And, of course, if you're brand new to this and you've never done one of these, Success is simply doing one, right? That's right. It could be even just writing a contract, you know. I know I'm I remember, you know, several times when I said, Wow, I'm gonna write this contract. But I was terrified because it wasn't so much that um whether or not I wrote the contract is what happens if they actually accept my offer? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Holy crap, you know. But um so the four week action plan gives you a, a great way to start and, and a roadmap of what to do first. But let's look, let's define this before we get started really into this four Absolutely. week action plan, because what most people think of as real estate investing, we don't think of it so much that way. Of course, the real estate investing part of it is almost second nature. And we just wait till things show up for us. And then we, you know, sort through those. That's part of the lifestyle. Exactly. Yeah. But what, what is this? If it's not real estate investing, then what is the business? It's marketing. Right. I guarantee you those guys over at Coca-Cola think primarily about how are they going to market Coca-Cola right. more so than they think about the product that they're, that they're selling. They know what their product is. We know what our product is. So we're going to think about marketing nine times out of ten over what it is we're, we're doing next. Right. And there's a lot of different ways to market. You know, when you look, when you look at the market – You'll see people that are marketing houses. You'll see people that are marketing um, an opportunity for someone to buy a house or sell a house, basically. And you'll see people or companies that are marketing themselves as a one-stop shop or a go-to place for 
buying, selling, saving, whatever the case is. So, but like you said, it's all about marketing and, and being out there and allowing people to know what it is you do. Because if they don't know what you do, they're not going to call you. They don't exactly. have a reason to. So you have to put yourself out there so that people know what you do. You have to be visible in the market. Totally. And, you know, today it's pretty easy to be visible. It, there's a lot of noise out there, though. A lot of there's noise. There's a lot of noise. And, and by noise, I mean there's a lot of people saying the same stuff. Yeah. A whole lot. Right. So, you know, you got to do things that separate yourself from the, from the group, from the pack, if you will. Yeah. You know, when you're marketing, when you're doing anything, like the sombrero. Yeah, okay. That's different. Yeah. That's right. Who's doing that? I don't know if I really want to be known as L Investor in the Sombrero or not. I don't know. I don't think so. We just need the mariachi band, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you know, uh, let's look at something. Uh, we, we've started from scratch yeah. a few times, and, and I'd like to tell you a story, if you don't mind. I want to hear the story. Late in the 90s, you know, I was, in, I was in Atlanta. I decided to move to Atlanta. I had a partner, and we had a, a pay phone business now. Some of you young folks don't even know what a pay phone is, but that's where you go put money in the phone quarter and you make a call, a local call. And so we had a bunch of those around town and, uh, I, I bought the pay phones, you know, I, I gave them to him. He placed them. I was in Florida at the time we moved up here. And so, uh, to help with that business and cause we thought it was going to be pretty cool. Mm. Well, it was, you know, as a matter of fact, it was so cool. He sold the business. Uh, whoops. He forgot to tell me. <laughs> And he moved to Florida, and so I said, wow, I guess I'm in the real estate business again. So um, what I did was, because, you know, he took all the money, and I, I didn't really have any. So I scraped together a, a few dollars, and, hey, back then, there was really not the Internet yeah. as we know it today. That's for sure. Um, there were pay phones, you know. <laughs> there weren't really cell phones and that kind of, kind of thing. So uh, what I did was, um, I, first thing I did was I opened up the AJC, which is, of course, the major paper, looked under real estate wanted because I wanted to see what the competition was. Mm. And right there under real estate wanted was 30, 35 ads for people who said, we buy houses. Will you sell us your house? And I'm thinking, holy moly, this is a lot of people in yeah. this business. And uh, I said, is there any room for me? So, um, you know, I had that question. So what I did was I said, okay, let's find out. I started calling these folks in the ads. Now there were some really large ads and there were some really tiny ads. You know, I, I called about a third of them, about 10 out of the 30, 30, 35 ads. And guess how many people actually answered the phone? I, probably one or none. One or none. Yeah. You're exactly right. None. <laughs> Nobody actually answered the phone. Yeah. yeah. It was all voicemail every bit. And I said, Holy crap. This is a gold mine. Atlanta is a gold mine. Yeah. And so. Can I interject right there for please? a moment? Please. So he brings up a very, very, very good point. It's, it's about being accessible, right? Right. Even today, and we talk about it all the time, you got to answer the phone. You got to answer the phone. Even today, with all these companies that are out there, if there's someone that wants to sell a house, if you're marketing to buy houses, and that person gets that flyer or that letter or whatever it is, and they're calling, and you don't answer, Right. they're on to the next because they're not calling back. You know, answering the phone, simply answering the phone can incre increase your business tenfold. It's, it's really the difference between being successful in your first 30 days or not Absolutely. being successful. Now, I did leave voicemails on every single one of those calls I made. How many did you get back? I'm glad you asked me that. Uh, I got no return calls. Can you believe it? And the saga continues. Yes. So that's when I said, oh, my gosh, you know, this is a gold mine. So yeah. guess what? I put my, my phone number in there, and I answered the phone. And bam, I was off to the races just like that. You know, yeah. you do your first deal, and then you set up your structures, or you set up your structures before that, and we'll get into that. You'll get into that in a minute. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, even even now – um, one of the, one of the places that we look for deals is on online, uh, specifically on Craigslist, let's say, or Zillow. This is even a better example. Yeah. You know, you, you look for certain properties for sale cause a lot of people are, you know, selling it themselves, you know, for sale by owner on Zillow and you will call them and they, and they're selling 
actively selling. Right. And they will not answer the phone. Or maybe you want to reach out to the arbitrary agent that they assign to your particular uh, call, right? Right. You send the message, no one calls you back. Or you get 50 calls, but they don't know what you were interested in. You've got to tell them. And if you're interested in multiples, you have to remember. And maybe that's more of an internal issue for Zillow to deal with, but you're not going to get the calls back. So you have to find a different level of proactiveness. You know, like you said, you, you put your phone number in there and they called and you purposefully answered the phone. Totally. It was, it was on your mind from the minute you didn't get your phone call answered when you called. Now, granted, I didn't have a whole lot else to do, <laughs> you know, and as you get into the business, you get busier and busier Absolutely. and busier. And then, then you, you know, yeah, th- go ahead and put some systems in to yep. help sort things. But, you know, I was there sitting there waiting for the phone to ring. Yeah. And that's critical, important for people who are just starting out. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you're looking today with, you know, everybody has a cell phone. Everybody. Yeah. Right? So if you've got the cell phone and, you're, and you've got a job, let's say, it's understandable that you can't answer the phone right away. But you do have to call back as soon as possible. You, you, and, and sometimes you have to call back more than once. So that one call... If you miss the call and you call back and they don't answer and you leave a voicemail, maybe you send a text message, then you have to follow back up. Your follow-up game has to be magnificent. I mean, it has to be magnificent because other people aren't doing that. And there's a solution to not being able to answer the phone. Well, you know, we can get into that in a minute. Absolutely. Right after this. We'll buy your house. Click 833willbuy.com. That's 833-W-E-L-L-B-U-Y.com. Or call 833willbuy. Se habla español. Llámanos. Call us today. Hey, welcome back to Real Estate 360 Show. And just before the break, we were talking about um, a solution to not being able to answer the phone yourself. Yeah. So um, a solution is what? You tell me, sir. Okay. Uh, Well, (laughs) listen, there's tons of services out there for just about anything and everything you want to do if you're willing to just pay for a little bit. So there are call centers that you can get and hire that will answer the phone for you. Why would you want to do that? Hey, you know, you're talking about opportunities here where you're going to make, you know, one, two, three, five, ten, twenty thousand dollars, right? Is it worth a hundred or a couple hundred dollars a month? to have somebody physically answer the phone for you. 24-7. 24-7, exactly. So, hell yes. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so uh, the call centers are absolutely fantastic. Obviously, we use them. Uh, but that's when you're scaling up, right? And even if you're just starting out and you have a job, you still have to have a couple hundred extra bucks, right? Exactly. You got to have a couple hundred extra bucks and the process in place or an understanding of the process, the questions that need to be asked, how you're going to follow up, things of that nature. So before you get there, we want to make sure you know all of that, right? We right. want to make sure that your processes are in place. And it all starts with the four-week action plan that we've created. How do you start today with absolutely no knowledge base at all? Whether you have money or not is inconsequential. Exactly. But how do you get started? And you do that by, as we said before, it starts with marketing, but but marketing is letting people know who you are. Let me ask you something. If you had a thousand or two thousand dollars or something like that, you yeah. know, just a little bit of money, uh, no credit, no income, nothing nothing else. Just a couple thousand dollars, what would you do with that money? Would you go put it down as earnest money on a piece of property? Uh, absolutely not. Okay. I would not do that. Now, I thought we were in the real estate business. We are absolutely in the real estate business. So what would you do? Would you I do would that? make sure that people know what I was doing. I'm getting flyers. I'm doing uh, probably a mail out. I'm okay. going to do a direct mail campaign. I'm going to get my phone ringing. I'm going to start a Facebook page. I'm going to get a, a special email address that's just for the business because guess what? Those are free, right? Right. <laughs> Nobody has to pay for Gmail. So that's, you know, you can set yourself up for virtually no money uh, as it relates to your personal marketing material. Your email address doesn't cost you anything. If you have a printer at home, you can print out flyers. 
you know, it's going to cost you, it's the cost of ink and paper at home and the time associated with it. And guess what? That takes five minutes to make a flyer, right? Literally five minutes to make anyone that has a computer and knows how to use Word, which right. comes with the computer, by the way. Yes. Can make a flyer, right? And and they've got templates inside the uh, program, the Word, Microsoft Word program, right? And, and whatever it is. I mean, if you're using Apple, you know, there's it's in there as well. So you just print out your flyers. doesn't cost you any any significant money. It's, you've already got paper and ink, so it's right now it's not costing you anything. Right. And if you don't have a printer at home, what is it? 10, 12 cents a sheet at, uh, yeah. you know, uh, in your, your local print shop, maybe? Go down to Office Depot, and they'll print them all for you. Yeah, I wouldn't go there, though. They are expensive. Oh, are they? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to uh, FedEx Kinko's or even the library. The library, I can tell you for sure, because I still spend time there. Oh. It's 10 cents a sheet. Okay. It's And you can use their computer for free. You can set it up, send it there, and look. If you print out 50 of those, four to a sheet, you've got 200 flyers, so and they you, cost you five bucks. So what do you do? You know, you got these flyers. So you, what are you doing? So what you're doing then now, me personally, a lot of people are going to go, and they're going to place them in convenience stores and post office, uh, at the post office, things like that. And, and you know what? That can be helpful. It's a smaller return. But if I've got nothing but a couple thousand bucks, I, I probably have some time. Yes. <laughs> I probably have time because you either have time or you have money. Or very, you're very few people. more than you're making very rapidly. They're very rapidly. <laughs> you know, we see a lot of that, of course. But what, wait a minute. What, what do you, what's on these flyers? What are you saying? Are you saying, I want to buy a house? Y'all Absolutely. Want to you want to sell a house? You want to keep what? it real simple. You say, you know, my name is, uh, my name is Jason. You know, I don't put my full name on there, but my name is Jason. You know, and we buy houses, fast cash, quick closing, no closing costs on your side. Call me today if you're in, you know, and you don't have a whole bunch of space, so you can't put, hey, if you're going through a divorce or a foreclosure, da, 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 da. we just put on there, if you need to sell, we're willing to buy. You know, my favorite phrase for that, you know, you mentioned you can't put all of the reasons that people sell houses. Yeah. My favorite phrase that keeps it really simple and covers everything is, any area, any condition. That's right. I mean, yeah, that kind of right. covers it, doesn't it? Does. It does. Because, again, there's a lot of noise out there, and there are a lot of companies that are spending, um, they have huge ad budgets. So they're on the radio, they're on television, you know, they're, they're on your Facebook timeline, you know. So you have to be able to cut through that and basically be a boutique business and market yourself as that. Because you are in one neighborhood because you're just one person you know, in one neighborhood right now. And that neighborhood is your local area because back in the day they used to teach you focus on where you live and what you know. Mm -hmm. Right. But that's not where the telephone calls are going to come from in today's marketplace. Right. If you're just posting ads in, in Facebook groups, for instance, or on Craigslist, you don't know where you're going to get the call from. So you have to be ready. So again, to answer your question a little more uh, in depth, if I had 2000 bucks and some time, I'm going to print out those flyers. I'm going to definitely look into a direct mail marketing campaign, which I can tell you, uh, you want to send out at a minimum of a thousand, right? And you can do postcards, you can do uh, the letter form, whatever it is. That's going to cost you anywhere between a thousand dollars and twelve hundred dollars, right? So you've spent five bucks at the library. You've spent, let's say, twelve hundred bucks on a Direct mail campaign, you bought a list inside that 12. You're going to call up a company. There's a lot of them out there. We can share those with you. Uh, you know, if you reach out to us on our, on our Facebook page and ask questions, and, you know, I'm sure the email address is, well, the email address is absolutely there. You can just post a comment. We'll tell you places that we utilize. You're going to get the list. You're going to send out the mailers. They're going to send them out, actually. They're paying for postage. All that's covered in that 1200 bucks. And... A week later, your phone starts to ring. Yes. In the meantime, you've got your flyers in hand, and instead of dropping them off at the post office or at the gas station or convenience store, you pick a neighborhood, and you knock on doors. You find an ugly house in the neighborhood, and you start asking the neighbors if they know who, this, who owns this home. Do you know who owns this house? Yes? No? And then you just tell them, hey, here's, here's my flyer. My name is, my name is Jason. You know, and we buy houses in any condition. If you know anyone that's 
uh, in a position that that they have to sell or need to sell, you know, give us a call. Here's here's our information. And oh, by the way, if we buy a house referred for, by you, you know, we have a little something for you on the back end. We generally pay five hundred bucks for something like that. But I can tell you that five hundred dollars for the average American that's just sitting at home on the porch, you know, that's something special. That's something special to them. They, it's like a free gift from the gods, if you will. <laughs> okay. That's right. And, and it works. It is, it is so positive, you know, but that's what I would do. That's what I would do. Okay. And knowing what to do, if, if you don't mind for a second, let me just throw this out there as well. Maybe you don't have that 1200 bucks to spend on that. Right. Maybe you just have money for a flyer. Maybe you just have the 10 or 15 bucks that it's going to cost to get business cards from Vistaprints. Or maybe you have a couple hundred thousand dollars, but you're conservative. Well, and listen, you just want to start with 10 or 15 bucks to see what happens. And you could, <laughs> you got a couple hundred thousand dollars, you know, we can have a different kind of conversation, <laughs> right? <laughs> so we could have a, an absolute different conversation. And, and just because you brought that up, I must say, yes. you know, we do deal with a lot of people. We don't just do single family homes. We do multifamily, you know, we do a lot. And there are a lot of people that come to us and say, hey, listen, you know, I've got this over here, this money over here. I don't know what to do with it. You know, I need to grow something with it. And those folks might come and say, I want to buy a house. And maybe that's not the best option for them because they don't have the time. You know, we have a lot of exactly. well, professional, you know, lawyers, doctors, whatever. Uh, they don't have the time really to manage a project, a renovation project, or answer the phone for you know, all these calls that are going to be coming in because they're able to run a marketing campaign. That's right. So we have passive opportunities in the multifamily industry uh, to work with people. So we share in cash flow, preferred interest rates, uh, equity, so you get write-offs, all kinds of things. And if you're interested in that, again, please give us a call. Shameless plug, had to do it. That's all right. Listen, <laughs> you know, we're kind of like uh, always out there looking for new toys to play with. You yeah, know? yeah. So, you know, our basis is single-family houses, buying, selling, wholesaling, re renovating, you know, designing, decorating. Absolutely. You he know, did that. If you're watching, he, he did this. He, I he pointed to yeah. Miles. That's right. <laughs> because that's my thing. He, he's into the, you know, let's pick out the tiles, you know. Let's go get the right, you know, you know flooring for this thing. And, you know, I'm thinking, and the people call and ask me, you know, what about – what about this tile? And I, and I, I get this, you know, deer in the headlights look and say, well, you know, you need, you need to call miles. Yeah, and I yeah. don't know. <laughs> now that's not a whole hundred percent true. Cause I'm starting to get into yeah, exactly. that. You're and, getting into uh, it. We had I, a meeting the other day and you brought up uh, some tile samples with you. And we're going over to this house that I'm renovating right now. I'm going to get his <laughs> advice because I've got, you know, five different tiles I'm thinking about for the backsplash. And he says, no, 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 no. That's right. That's right. Keep it down to like, <laughs> you know, one, yeah. you know, but I want to mix them all up. And I want to get a little artistic, but, um, your taste isn't everyone's taste. No. Well, I, I, you know what? Um, and I don't mean that in a bad way. No, that's okay. You know, I don't mean that in a bad way. What I mean is what we personally like the marketplace may not like everyone likes what they see on HGTV. So just give them that. Right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And so yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to go over to the house and, and put together a backsplash Absolutely. and, um, but you know, he mentioned the multifamily. Yes, we're, we're doing multifamily and we, we love that. It's kind of like a new toy for us. It's not really, but you know, no, every, every one project, that shows up is exactly. like a new toy. Exactly. You know, so. Every project is a new toy because yeah. it has its own specific uh, needs. But at any rate, we're going to wrap this up for this particular segment. We're going to go uh, and prepare you for what you do next in your four week action plan. So let's do that right after the break. Do you need to sell your house? Well, our company will buy, will buy your house. We make the process very fast, very easy, and it's all cash. All you have to do is give us a call today. We'll buy your house. Click 833willbuy.com. That's 833-W-E-L-L-B-U-Y.com. Or call 833willbuy. Se habla español, llámanos, call us today. Hello, we're back. This is Steve Conley with Real Estate 360. And I'm Jason Miles with Real Estate 360, baby. So we were talking about if you don't have a couple couple thousand or a couple hundred thousand, right? Uh, what do you do? So um, 
listen, I'll just tell you what I did because uh, I've started over a few times. And uh, typically the first thing I do is uh, I go set up something that will start collecting emails. Mm. Like MailChimp. It's free, you know, at first. And once you get a you know a certain number on there, they start charging you monthly. But there's so many tools out there right now that can help you with your business. And MailChimp is a great one. It doesn't have to be that. There's plenty of other CRMs out there. But mm-hmm. uh, that one was easy. It was free. And mm-hmm. it was pretty easy to pick up. So I set that up. And I remember thinking, okay, well, I've got MailChimp set up. Because what I'm looking to do there is build a buyer's list. Because once I find a house, what am I going to do with it? I'm going to start marketing it, right? It's all about marketing. So what's the direct route to marketing? What's the shortest distance between A and B? It's a straight line. So a straight line would be a buyer's list. Mm -hmm. So I'm setting up this buyer's list and collecting emails of people that want to buy. So where do I get those? Where Where do they come from? Well, they come from the flyer, maybe. Mm-hmm. Uh, they, but they probably come from some marketing that we're doing on things like Craigslist, mm-hmm. or we're putting out some information on Zillow, or we've contacted some realtors, or we've driven around. One of the one of my favorite things to do is just get out there and start yeah. driving around, you know, and looking at stuff and getting out of the car, and the people start showing up. Um, and there's. Other people have put out these signs out there, these bandit signs. Mm-hmm. And that's something you might want to do as well. We'll talk about that in a minute. Mm-hmm. But but maybe you haven't gotten to that point yet where you put the signs out, but there's other people who have signs out. Mm-hmm. So I start calling all of those. Mm-hmm. That's called reverse marketing. That's reverse marketing. That's right. Exactly. So I call all those people. Now, the sign might say, I want to buy houses. Guess what? We, we're looking for buyers. They might be buyers. They might not be. Just because they have a sign out there doesn't mean they're in competition with you. I'm looking to create joint ventures everywhere I can. That's right. Now, may I piggyback off of that? Please, absolutely. Well, thank you, kind sir. So the whole thing about that, it's a brilliant strategy this is, uh, the reverse marketing with the banded signs, right? Uh, And it leads right into how do you do this with no money? Right. So you're seeing these bandit signs. That's what we call them. You know, those signs on the side of the road, we buy houses, fast cash, call me, you know, whether they're handwritten or whatever, uh, printed. Those people are buying houses. They're buying houses. It's their business. They're letting you know that that's their business. Well, you're a new person and you don't know how to find the deals yet, or, or maybe you've just started. So you need these houses. So you call them and you say, Hey, listen, if I can help you sell your house, can I get paid? Absolutely. You know, now you have real estate. So what you've done is you've called other wholesalers, right? You've called other wholesalers to say, look, I can help sell your house because you'd be doing what Steve said here at the exact same time, building a, a buyer's list. And we'll talk about that in a second as well. But now you've called these people and and they said, okay, yeah, I'll send you over our list or, or here's our website. Here's what we have. Or here's our email. So, you know, I can send them houses that Absolutely. I find that I can sell to them. Absolutely. So it's it goes both ways. You can sell them houses, you can buy houses from them, but you might not be buying it. So you're you're building this buyers list, right? So here's what I did. I reached out to someone and said, "I want to sell your house." So I took their house. They said, "Of course, yes." Mm-hmm. Uh, I was another wholesaler and they were allowing me to what we call cross market it. They're already marketing it. So now I'm also marketing the property. But what I did differently, they wanted, I think, $60,000 for the house, something like that. I changed the price of the house. I changed the price to $23,000. Oh, my gosh. Are you going to make up the difference? Absolutely not. (laughs) Why I did that was because I wanted my phone to ring. Yeah. Now, this would have been a super sweet deal at the time. It would have been beyond a super sweet deal. Just a great opportunity. But I knew that that bait was going to get people calling. And in two days, I had over 60 people that were actively buying in that neighborhood, in that area, right away. They're looking for deals right now. I probably called you. It's possible. I doubt it. (laughs) Because we were already working together. (laughs) But uh, that's what I did to help build the list. And I know that's how you built your list as well. But not necessarily with that particular angle. 
I didn't do that particular thing. I just yeah. I just put out whatever it is I had. That's right. You That's know? right. And uh, and because I was looking for, I wasn't necessarily looking to build my list with just a whole bunch of names. Yeah. You know, I wanted some people that were buying and buying in that area and doing all all that stuff. That's right. And that's what and that's what it did. And now when we have real deals, when I you know when we had real deals, we're sending out that email blast. People yes. that are that were fresh on their mind, you know, they generally just spoke with us within you know a couple couple days at the most. Uh, in my case, and that's what it was. And then we start sending them real deals. And then guess what? They're not my deals. I didn't find quote unquote the deal, but I found the person who found the deal. And maybe I didn't make ten thousand dollars. Maybe I made fifteen hundred bucks. Hey, you know, fifteen hundred bucks will pay a lot of utility bills. That's right. And when you're doing that five or six times a month, yeah, it's life changing. Absolutely. You know, it's life changing. If you're making a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars a deal, wholesaling someone else, some other wholesalers' deals, yeah, and you're doing that five times a, a month, you know, you're you're making five to five to ten thousand dollars a month every single month, which now gives you the ability to spend some money on marketing for your own deals to increase your profit margins. Absolutely. Let me talk about something. You know, we're talking about marketing, how to find these, these properties. Yeah. And, you know, the biggest question I get constantly, as a matter of fact, I was on the phone last night on a conference call with a couple of, you know, pretty seasoned real estate investors asking me what to do, yeah. you know, to help increase their business. Because that's, you know, they know what to do. Maybe, uh, but they're saying, "Hey, what do we do to you know and get the volume up?" Because you know the biggest thing right now in this marketplace is finding you know the really sweet deals. Yeah. Now, it's not about that. It's not about finding the real estate deals. You know, if you know what I mean. Because the the question is, where do you find them? Mm. That's what I get. But that's not really the right question. And what is the right question? I'm so glad you asked me that because I just happen to have maybe the answer. The question that they should be asking is how do you or how do I recognize a great deal when I see one? Mm. Because the really, they're, they're everywhere, mm -hmm. absolutely everywhere. It's not about where you find them. It's whether or not you can recognize them when you see them. Mm -hmm. And so along those lines, it just so happens we have a couple of hours with me and Mr. Jason Miles. We're doing a, a real estate mastermind, calling it a Wholesaling 401. Correct. July the 13th from 10 a.m. to 12 noon in Smyrna. Saturday morning. Saturday morning. Saturday morning. And you'll, you will come there and have food and beverage options. Yes. You will come there and network with people. And how much are, is this? It's 20 bucks. It's 20 bucks. And what? you know what? I got to tell you. You're you, going to sell me another seminar when I get there, aren't you? You are not going to be sold another seminar. You know, we, we did one of these uh, recently, and there was a gentleman there at, at, towards the end of it who just knew the hammer was going to come down, right? It yeah. was towards the end of the seminar. And I hesitate to even call it a seminar. It's more of just this live Q&A kind of thing going back and forth, answering your questions, whatever they may be. It doesn't matter if you're brand new and you've never done this or seasoned, like the gen the people that you were speaking with last night. Oh, yeah. He was, you know, a, he was a seasoned real estate that's investor. Right. I'm, you know, he was there to learn something new. That's right. And the reality of what we're talking about here and what we talk about at those events, yes. at those gatherings, is how do you scale it? Whether you're not doing anything and you just want to get to your first deal or you're doing four or five deals a month and you want to get to 10 or 15 or 20. All we're talking about is setting up processes that allow you to scale your business. That's it. Yeah. And it just so happens to be the real estate business. Well, and also we're teaching people how to recognize a great deal in real estate. Mm -hmm. And I hate that word, deal. <laughs> uh, opportunity. Opportunity, thank you. <laughs> uh, a, a great opportunity in a house so you know – what to do with it? You 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 know whether or not you should make an offer or not, or maybe the numbers don't work quite right for a straight cash situation. So what do you do? You switch to maybe a subject two or a lease option or mm -hmm. a sandwich lease option or just an option. Or mm -hmm. and so a lot of people don't even know what an option is really. Right. Well, so, see, 
you're talking about options, and that's all we're talking about, knowing what your options are. Completely. Because you bring up such a great point. I mean, we could go on and on and on and on for, with this yes. for days and days and days. Let's go back to the four-week <laughs> action plan. Because we want you to know what your <laughs> options are, but it starts with where you start. Yeah. Right? It starts with where you start, and we want to make sure that you get there. Right, right. So, right. so well, we're talking about the marketing. We're talking about getting into uh, these, uh, um, building these lists, marketing other people's deals, making some money, and then putting that money to work. You, and what I mean by that is marketing, marketing. You want people to know that you're out there. You want to go to, especially if you're just starting out, you want to go to the meetings, you know, in your local area. You want to meet people that are doing business because, like Steve said, the reality of it is buyers in the market are going to buy good deals, good opportunities from people, homeowners or other wholesalers. There are renovators out here that don't have time to go look for deals Absolutely. because they're too busy managing their projects and looking at that. Let me talk about mindset for, you know, the next 30 seconds. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. You know, Woody Allen, you know, the producer, writer, yeah. whatever, actor, director, he said success is 80% sh just showing up. Mm -hmm. And I see that constantly as all you really need to do is kind of step out there and take some action. That's right. So my wife asked me last night, we were watching uh, America's Got Talent. What, uh, you just broke all the hearts of the women listening. Oh, did I have? You're married. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so listen, right now we're getting the uh, cut to a commercial sign, so we'll be back in just a few minutes. We'll buy your house. Click 833willbuy.com. That's 833-W-E-L-L-B-U-Y.com. Or call 833willbuy. Se habla español, llámanos, call us today. All right, we're back from the break. Um, but I do not want to miss this story that you were telling. Okay. So can you start it over? You know, it was the Woody Allen uh, quote. Absolutely. Woody Allen, of course, said 80% of success is just showing up. Yeah. So that's what I see constantly. So if you if you just show up, we can talk about all the things you need to do and uh, all those processes and all the education and all that. And, you know, you can sit and learn everything you can possibly learn to try to get it perfect in your mind, but that's never going to happen. That's right. And, and it's not important to do that because, you know, we can talk about this all day, every day. And, um, but what's important is you actually just step out there and take some action. So, you know, we were sitting down on the couch last night, as a matter of fact, watching America's Got Talent. Now it's not on, on, two, on whatever night it was. It was a recording, but Howie Mandel was there and he said, I am afraid of everything all day long. Mm. How do you live a life like that? Mm. But how he's out there, he's doing it. Right. So my wife looks over and says, what are you afraid of? And I know what she's afraid of practically everything lizards, you know, and <laughs> slipping down and falling or I mean, all kinds of stuff. And I said, I struck my shoulders. I don't, I don't know what yeah. I'm afraid of. I've kind of faced all the fears. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the number one fear in, in America is public speaking. I'm not afraid of public speaking. I'm not saying I'm the greatest at it, but I'm not afraid of it. So whatever. Yeah. And, um, so all I'm saying is just get up and do it. You know, that's all. Just, if you really think you would like to do this, go do something. Yeah. That's all. That's right. I've got two fears. Yes. One of them is really, really silly. <laughs> and I recently learned this about myself. I am afraid, and this is no joke, of driving over high bridges. Really? Yeah. Every time I'm driving over a high bridge, I just white knuckle it, man. I'm just like <laughs> 10 and 2, sitting up. It's bad. You know, I start sweating my hands. I mean, just be talking about it right up now. North when you were <laughs> up north in the winter? Never. You spin out? Never. And I've never really even noticed it. You know, so I, I took the family, on the children on a vacation, yeah. and we drove from city to city for you know, a couple of weeks, it's just different city every day. And uh, we, there's certain areas in the country where there's these huge bridges, like a roller coaster. By the way, I don't get on roller coasters. Um, it's kind of like a high bridge, right? It's like a high bridge. <laughs> it's a little high bridge with a lot less stability. <laughs> so, yeah. So, and my second fear is the fear of doing nothing. Oh. I, you know, I, I just can't, I can't do nothing. 
You need to learn how to do that. I just it's that's I just can't do nothing. There's a lot of power in doing nothing. Yeah. Hey, there's a Jackie Chan movie where this uh, Jam- Jamal Smith, mm-hmm. I think his name was Jamal, uh, Will Smith's son. Oh, uh, Jaden. Jaden, thank you. So uh, they, he says, what what are all these guys doing sitting there doing nothing? And Jackie says, no, 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 they're not sitting there. They were all meditating there. You know, they were monks meditating just so you can see the mental picture. And he said, no, they are not doing nothing. They are being still. Mm. And there's a huge difference in that. Mm. And that's why I meditate every day because I want to get still so that I can know. You've heard that before. Be still and know. Mm -hmm. And you get so much information that way. But listen, we're not here to talk about Uh, that. But I like that, though, because sometimes you got to be still. You know? And just to throw this out there, because there's a lot of listeners that are having some of these same issues. And that issue is being just, you're busy being busy. You know, you're not really going anywhere. You're running in place, basically. Right, checking and your emails like 48, seven times a day. Exactly. Whatever. You're just busy being busy for no reason whatsoever. You know, you can find such clarity from simply being still. Yes. And the things that you feel like you're running towards but not getting anywhere with, if you just stop and just be still for a little while, you will find yourself receiving everything that you've actually asked for. Yeah. And and that's, I mean, I know that we're not here talking about, you know, how the universe works, but it is true. And sometimes you just need to be still. You get frustrated because you're trying to push the envelope to achieve a goal, and it frustrates you because you're not achieving it, or you don't, you know, it doesn't appear that you're achieving it. Right. All the while you're on the path, you just need to stop. Right. Just stop for a second and let it flow. I'd love to do a whole show like every week yeah. on yeah. that. Because I, I call Steve constantly about this stuff, yeah. you know, and uh, Steve is our resident guru, just so you know. You know, he's the he's the guy to go to when you need calming. <laughs> <laughs> but I still have my sombrero, you know. Exactly. Got to have it. You know? He's a calm guy, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so, but at any rate, look, back to the... Back to the meat. Back to the action plan. Absolutely. You know? So we talked about taking action, and and uh, what happens when you do that is, man, all the stuff that you need just starts showing up. Yeah. And I'm not saying you know if you're looking for real estate, you know, go to a dance class. Right. <laughs> right. You know, well, although you, you can never certainly know. do that. That's right. You know, come to think of it, you just never know. That that'll work. I've met some great people. In fact, um, in an, in an effort to just blow off some steam. Not even blow steam, but just to relax. Yeah, uh, I went to uh, uh, this hotel bar, and um, I was just sitting there trying not to do anything. You're not married, right? I am not. So you were at this hotel bar. <laughs> hey, here it goes. It, it's not going left. I promise you, this story's not oh, okay, going left. Okay. <laughs> but I'm sitting there, and this guy uh, comes in, and uh, he just starts talking, and. You know, not about business, not about anything else. It's just there's three people at the bar and the bartender, and uh, we're just all just talking. And inevitably, the what do you do question comes up. Mm. This guy is a big multifamily buyer, and he's in town because he's buying some massive apartment building uh, here in Atlanta. And um, we just, I said, look, I've got to buy you a drink. (laughs) <laughs> right. And we spent the next nearly three hours just talking about uh, multifamily investing. And this was probably 10 years ago. That was just a fantastic opportunity. But it just both goes to what you were saying. If, if you're just being still, the things that you're looking for will will find you. Absolutely. You know, we're and pushing most of them away you know, with right. all of our actions and our frustrations that's and, right. and so forth. And, and, and that's why the people are listening here. Yeah. You know, they're listening so that we can deliver. And what we are here to do is deliver this information, this actionable information to you. We want you to win. We want you to succeed. So, you know, you have to start somewhere. And this four-week action plan, by the way, uh, there will be a link associated with this. And if you want to get involved with uh, uh, real estate and you're not really there uh, and you want to begin from nowhere, I mean, you're not in it right now, the four-week action plan, it's a program called Success in Your First 30 Days. Uh, It's, you know, it's, I think it's three and a half hours or four hours of, of content that shows you exactly what to do. There are a few downloads there, uh, the four-week action plan being one. 
of the, you know, because we're just kind of touching a few points that are essential to you beginning your business. Tell, tell us what the content is. Is it, is it 38 pages or 150 pages? No, no, no. I mean, the four-week action plan is, what, a, a four-page, five-page document? Yes. And it just says, here's the things that you need to do every week. It gives you, you, you simply just check it off. It starts from nothing. You know, like we're looking at it here. We have a, a printout version over here for those of you that are watching. Uh, you know, the first week is setting up your business. And it goes through step by step what you need to do to do that. Uh, everything from, you know, understanding a little bit what LLCs are, you know, to everything that we talked about today with um, getting your flyers and having an email address and things like that, you know, marketing your business. And during this show, we have not even had the time to cover what's on page one. Yeah, there's no possible way. No, there's no possible <laughs> way. But it's not just this four pages, is it? No. And there's, uh, I think it's six videos. It is six videos. So you can just listen to it. You can drive down the street, listen to it. You can be at work and you can listen to it and take notes. You can, of course, be at home, uh, have your earbuds in while you're working out. It's information that you can absorb and put to use immediately. So you, it's six videos that are how long? None of them are any longer than about four. I think the longest one is about 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Yeah, that's it. You know, that's most a lot of, of information. That's a lot of information. Six videos, say 30 minutes a piece. That's yeah. yeah. like three hours. You're right around hours. three and a half hours of content. Wow. We're right around three and a half hours of content with information that you can utilize right How away. How much is that? 47 bucks. Wow. 47 bucks. 47 bucks. And it's just an introduction to everything that you need. And really, by listening to this show, by putting this action plan to work, making a few telephone calls here and there and doing what Steve said, just take action. No one knows exactly everything to do when they start a thing. No one does. I mean, think of whoever your favorite person is. You know, uh, if it's a like Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan was great in, in the NCAA, right? But he didn't know how to play in the NBA. He had to learn. Right. Uh, your, whatever film directors you like, same thing. They learned a lot of stuff, but they learned, really honed their skills from just doing it and being consistent in their effort in their right. efforts. Right. And that's what we're talking about here. Be consistent. Put these things to work. Don't waste your time doing things that are 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 are, are taking you away from what your goals are in life. If you want to be a real estate investor, just do that. Get up and do something. My dad used to say, "Hey Steve, you know, go do something even if it's wrong." Now, he didn't mean go do something wrong. Right. <laughs> he said even if it's a mistake, you know, at least you've learned from it and you'll make some adjustments and you'll do it right. So listen, thanks for watching. This is the Real Estate 360 show. We're going to take you from the show to the pro. Thank you, Steve. I appreciate your time as always. I look forward to next week.